please visit www.sensebusiness.co.uk for more useful tips. Inventory management. Managing and storing stock effectively is important for a business in order to maintain production and sales. What is stock? Stock is any item stored by a business for use in production or sales. Stock can be raw materials and components waiting to be used in the manufacturing process. Example, tyres stored by a car factory. Finished goods held in store so that a customer order can quickly be met from stock. Holding stock incurs warehouse storage cost and ties up working capital. Funds must be found to pay for materials, components and unsold goods with interest. Running out of one item of stock could bring the whole factory to a halt. Staff must still be paid even though they do not have the parts to carry on production. Stock control aims to hold sufficient items on site to able production while minimising stock holding cost. Inventory management. Stock control is best explained using a diagram, for example, a bar gate stock graph. Maximum inventory level. The largest amount of items to be stored on site, 500. Minimum inventory level. The lowest amount of items to be stored on site, 100. Reorder quantity. The amount of stock ordered to restore inventory levels to their maximum point, 400. Reorder level. The level of inventory at which new stock is ordered, 300. 400 items are ordered and it takes two weeks lead time for ordered stock to arrive. Lead time is the amount of time taken between ordering stock and the stock being delivered. There is always a buffer inventory of 100 items held in case deliveries are held up or there is an unexpected large order. Just in time. Just in time inventory control system occurs when a business holds no stock and instead relies upon deliveries of raw materials and components to arrive exactly when they are needed. Instead of occasional large deliveries to a warehouse, components arrive just when they are needed and are taken straight to the factory floor. For just-in-time inventory control to be effective, the business must have a good relationship with their suppliers. The benefits of reduced warehouse cost must be balanced against the cost of more frequent deliveries and lost purchasing economies of scale from bulk buying discounts. Inventory, storage and warehousing. Businesses need to decide on the best way to store inventory to make it easily accessible, cost-effective, well-maintained. Businesses often store inventory in warehouses. Warehouses are facilities bought or rented by the company that are used to store and distribute inventory. They need to be secure to prevent theft or damage stock. A business can choose to use centralised storage, warehousing, decentralised storage, warehousing. Centralised storage. Centralized storage is when a company chooses one central location to store all the stock for the organization. The stock will be distributed to departments as required from the central warehouse. Benefits. Supplies are delivering to one location which reduces delivery cost. Economies of scale are gained due to bulk ordering. Specialized staff can be employed to manage inventory which will reduce theft and improve efficiency. Standardized procedures can be implemented. Centralized warehouses are often located near good infrastructure, making them accessible. Reduces duplication of stock and administration cost. Cost. High costs incurred due to specialist equipment and large storage facilities. May incur increased delivery times and delay in receiving stock to departments. Increased wage costs as specialist staff are required to manage the storage and distribution of stock. Harder to meet specific requirements of specialised departments within the company. Storing large amounts of stock may increase the chance of wastage. Decentralised storage. Decentralised storage is when each department within the organisation is responsible for ordering and storing their own stock. Benefits. Inventory is accessible so no delay in receiving required goods. Small amount of stock being held prevents wastage. Departments are more responsive to local needs and changes in the market. Cost. Increased delivery costs due to low amounts of inventory being delivered to multiple locations. Security may not be as effective, leading to increased theft. No specialist staff dealing with stock may lead to disorganisation and delays. Logistical management of inventory. Logistic management is the process of dealing with the whole order from start to finish. A logistics manager's responsibility is to ensure all stock is stored and distributed correctly. When a business looks at the logistical management of inventory, 
they need to consider many different aspects. Method of transport. The business will need to decide on the best way to transport goods. Example, air, road, sea. Logistics management. Looks at the goods being transported. Looks at where they are being transported. Decides the most secure and cost-effective way to transport them. Channel of distribution. Understanding and organising the most effective channel of distribution. Example, manufacturer to retailer to customer is important to a business efficiency and profit. External factors. Logistics need to consider external factors that may affect the movement and storage of inventory. Legalizations can influence the delivery of goods. For example, the amount of time lorry drivers are allowed to drive without having a break is stipulated by legalization. This will affect delivery times. Finance. The budget that a business has for storage and delivery of inventory can affect the choices that are being made by the logistics manager. We have prepared 10 questions for you to practice. Visit the link below to test yourself. Please visit www.sensebusiness.co.uk for more useful tips.